you back your people out. So that will affect what happened later turns. So there's a conflict, as well as a strategy, like do we want to evacuate people now? Okay, I'm not sure I understand. I'm just not, there's no evacuation happening. I'm not under, I don't understand what you're talking about. Huh? I think what Kyle's trying to contribute no, is yeah. this idea of like, uh, do we want to do something now before the timer gets to 10? Right? Yeah. Or do we want to wait and just see where things? So you can choose to end. You can choose to end your game at like round five mm -hmm. and just be like, it's over. We've we've already fulfilled everything. Because based on that, the the play test that I had with you yesterday, you were saying it's going to be ten hours. Like the the longest prediction is like ten days. Yeah. Forward. So we start at we start playing the game at ten days when assuming that the the prediction can. 10 days before, mm -hmm. this, right? This is like, this is, this is assuming that you know there's a storm coming in 10 days. Yeah. 10 days from now, there's a storm. Right now, this is its condition. Yeah. It has a probability. Day two, it's closer to you. Day three, so. Yeah, I think yeah. that there's something to do with the, the timeline maybe needs to be thought of as a movable or dynamic element in the game because, you know, one of the, one of the problems is to some degree the predictability, but at the, on the other hand, you don't want everything to seem arbitrary, that we're getting cards because of the luck of the draw, or that the, at the end it's like, okay, it's either going to happen or not, but we have no idea. Clearly that's the nature of floods, and so part of that arbitrariness needs to be part of it. Okay. But we need to make, be making decisions based on information we're getting, right? Um, and at the same time, the timeline is where the tension could build, right? That's like that's like the, the, the ticky spine of the game, right? So you could imagine saying, okay, you know, the front is moving more quickly. So playing around with that might help a little bit too. Um, I, I, a lot of this this side though, with the actions, the, I feel like the, that I, needs to. Work the actions need to be precious. They need to be like, I am holding on to this. Maybe we're all playing different villages or something, but I'm holding on to this until I really know I should be doing something. I mean, there should, it should be a real, it should be an expenditure rather than just sort of laying them down every turn. Yeah. I think that um, sometimes it's, a, it's a, a mistake to give players too many choices, right? And so I think with your game, since, since the complex aspect of the game is this timeline, that it would be best it would be really interesting to see if there were roles. So that instead of adding, the, like having four cards in my hand that I'm looking at and I'm not really sure, if I had a defined role, now I have more, I know more knowledge and I'm more confident to make decisions. Right. With this, I would feel like if I had all these cards in my hand, it would be tough. Well, do you have a Red Cross? Well, I don't. I'm not sure. Should we use it here? But if my role is defined, then I would know. I'm the Red Cross guy. So. You guys tell me what you want me to do. And I think that would really help a lot. And especially to find the simulation as well. Yeah, I was thinking that that if there were roles that certain people can play certain cards and they could be like an exchange or something or... Um... Yeah, so, okay, so right now this game and the last game are based on the, the role of the Red Cross. We're playing kind of as red. I mean, to some degree. Yeah, right? yeah. I don't have roles in here, so it's basically mm -hmm. like it's about preventions that you're taking, which is basically about yeah. the red cross. Yeah. yeah, to some degree, right? So, so that might be an interesting thing to consider. It's like, okay, if we're all playing different roles, well, what's in my interest and what's in yours, and what do I need to do? So, I think I think there's some really good stuff in both of these. I think this one, even though it's less. Uh, resolved at this point is much more connected to the flood issue. I mean, the thing is, the biggest challenge for me with this is time. Mm -hmm. This needs to be done next week, and I don't mm -hmm. know how much time I'll have to like start mm -hmm. tweaking things so that it works itself. Well, out. Let's look so, at let's look at some of the other prototypes. And my and my my idea is right that that, that we're going to end up borrowing and trading and it, you know maybe it, I, what I as a goal today what I think we should try to do is arrive at one or two that we really want to develop further, um, but try to kind of take the best of best, the greatest hits of each one. Um, can I also ask, what did you think then about these? We're changing 
the probability and magnitude are sort of affecting like you draw, like how many you can draw. I think that's interesting. Yeah, I think though that it, they need to be. There needs to be more here in terms of repercussion. That needs to be more of a resource that somehow by playing it, 